So I've used several external drives from Western Digital. I just picked up this MyBook 12 terabyte version. There's several different versions and sizes out there. I mainly got this to store video footage. It's got a three year limited warranty. It's got easy to use backup and security software, password protection. Nice thing is it works with Mac or PC. This is USB 3.0 and USB 2.0 compatible. This is a two and a half inch hard drive on the inside of this case, if you're wondering. It's got a nice texture here on the bottom half and then super glossy black finish there on the top half. Here on the back is your Kensington lock where you plug in the power and your USB. Also has nice rubber feet here on the bottom and some ventilation along the bottom as well. Now, if you're wondering what the charging cable looks like, I've got so many of these, so I like to show what the charging cable looks like in case I ever forget, then I can come back to this and see. Pretty typical charging cable for Western digital hard drives. And it's still their proprietary USB cable. I kind of wish they would switch to USB-C, but I guess it is what it is. Then you also have their safety and warranty information, customer support website here. Now, if you're connecting this to a Mac, look for disk utility and launch pad, and then choose the My Book Drive. You can rename it here if you like, but then just go under format. Make sure it's set to XFAT. That way you can use this hard drive on a Mac or Windows PC. There's some other options in there as well, but I feel like this is the best option available, especially if there's a chance you could use this drive on a Windows PC. In my opinion, this is just a better format to sort of future-proof the drive because you never know if you're gonna switch computers later on. Good thing is when you're using XFAT, there's no size limitation as far as how large a file you can copy over. Then just hit erase, then it's going to do its thing for a minute, and that's pretty much it. You should be good to go after that. I just copied over a file about four gigabytes in size to see how long it took to copy to the drive only took about 10 seconds and then to copy from the drive to my internal SSD was about the same amount of time as well. If you're on Windows, the process is gonna be a little bit different, but I would also make sure you choose XFAT so that the drive can be read by a Mac as well. From what I can tell, the speeds on my PC are about the same as on my Mac, around 10 seconds to copy from my drive to my internal SSD and vice versa. In my experience, I've had better luck with hard drives from Western Digital and if you need a drive for backing up large files you should definitely check this one out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.